We trust and believe in our students and our staff. We would not make such allegations if there were not significant proof. Have you asked for the evidence that they referenced? Um, we have not asked them for any evidence. When we are finally seeing the fruits of our labor, some want to question or cast doubt on our students' accomplishments. When we lower the bar for some of our students, we lower the bar for all of our students. Incredible pressure coming from the central office onto all of the principals of all the schools. And when I see, you know, laughing and, and partying and saying, gee, look at what we've done, 92%, what I'm thinking about are all those students who are now out there. There has been no systemic effort ordered by me or others acting on my behalf to promote students in order to inflate graduation rates. Lindsay Watts joins us now with more on these new developments today. Lindsay, the governor demanding an investigation. That's right, Lauren and Marina. He sent a letter today to the Maryland State Board of Education. Governor Hogan says he is deeply troubled by the allegations of fraud and wants immediate steps taken. After claims of corruption to boost the Prince George's County graduation rate, Governor Larry Hogan says the State Board of Ed needs to take immediate steps to begin a complete, thorough, and exhaustive investigation. It comes one week after Fox 5 broke the story that four Prince George's County School Board members contacted Hogan, saying they have evidence hundreds of students have graduated without meeting state requirements, that there's systemic corruption from the top down. The head of schools, Dr. Kevin Maxwell, has strongly denied this, calling the claims politically motivated. Governor Hogan points out that the four board members aren't the only elected leaders coming forward. That state senator Anthony Muse was on Fox 5 saying he's heard testimony from teachers and guidance counselors about alleged fraud. State delegate Jay Walker has also called for an investigation. Fox 5 has spoken to numerous staff members, teachers, guidance counselors and record keepers who say they have seen for themselves. Students are being pushed through who haven't earned their diploma. Everyone has told us speaking publicly would put their job on the line. Hogan says he wants to get to the truth and also ensure that any and all whistleblowers receive full protection under the law. Dr. Maxwell has refused our repeated request for an interview, but he gave us this statement today. From the beginning, I have maintained that politics lie at the root of these accusations. There has been no systemic effort to promote students who did not meet state graduation requirements in order to inflate our graduation rates. We look forward to collaborating with the Maryland State Department of Education to resolve this matter. Tomorrow on Fox 5 News Morning, we are continuing our coverage of this story. You'll hear from State Delegate Jay Walker about his concerns about a prior state investigation on this same issue. Lindsay Watts, Fox 5 Local News.